Oh, I'm going to take a look at the total. I mean, Green Bay is going to come in with that fourth-rated passing game in the NFL behind Aaron Rodgers. We know what they can do. They've actually had pretty good balance, fifth and rushing the football, too. And they're on a three-and-one run over the total this season. And then the Baltimore Ravens, you guys mentioned offensive line troubles. Their top two backs, Rice and Pierce, are averaging both 2.9 yards per carry. This team cannot run the football. They're going to have to pass. I can see Green Bay getting up like 10 nothing, and uh, Ravens are going to have to pass a lot. Green Bay is 4-0 over the total of the last four road games. Wouldn't be surprised to see a bit of a high-scoring game in this one. All right, our last game we have is the uh, the Saints are playing the Patriots, another non-conference game on Sunday night. You get the Patriots' small home favorite, total around 49. And, Jim, you got a Saints team that's happy to have Sean Payton back. Drew Brees once again has one of the top offenses in the league. And even the new defensive coordinator, uh, Rob Ryan, has the defense playing better. You think Rob Ryan wants to get a win over the Patriots to help his AFC East brother out? <laughs> I don't know if it'll come down to that, but I think he'd like to earn his money just by keeping his job. But both these teams are only giving up 14 points a game on the season. So, uh, you know, last week New England looked pretty pathetic against Cincinnati. Granted, it was their second road game in a row after beating Atlanta on the road. The Saints have been red hot and everything. I mean, they're just... They're just playing very well, Drew Brees. But, again, this is not a running team, 78 yards per game. New England's doing a little bit better on the ground, uh, but both teams defensively are much better than they used to be uh, in, in the past. We never thought about the Saints or the Pats being defensive teams, but they're only really averaging offensively uh, 26 points a game for New England and uh, New Orleans and, and 19 points a game for New England. Uh, they're rather low numbers for these teams, especially the Pats. Uh, Pats get Gronkowski back, but a couple of weeks ago they lost Wilfork. And losing Wilfork is a major loss uh, for this team. That's that's a guy that blocks the middle. He he eats up a lot of space in the middle. It makes it hard to, hard to run, and uh, it, that's going to make a big difference going forward. Uh, I think Cincinnati took a little bit of advantage of that last week, and I think the Saints will here. Okay, I'm going to look at the, uh, let, let's take a look at this game. Uh, Jeff, you got a Saints team that is just so explosive on offense, but the Patriots have home field, small home favorite. Who has the edge here? I don't see much of this game. That's why I'm, I'll probably take the total. Uh, you know, last week everybody was saying uh, Drew Brees has never won a Soldier Field. I won four. He's playing on grass. It's he's not, he won't be the same. Look what happens. He's 29 out of 35, uh, 280 yards, two TDs, no interceptions. So we can throw that theory out the door right now. Jimmy Graham had another tremendous game. Uh, Tom Brady had a bad week. It's 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 an anomaly. It's like it doesn't happen very often. The Patriots still have a decent offense, balanced, 116 yards on the ground, 227 through the air. Uh, the Patriots have gone over 41 out of the last 61 games. 40. The Saints are 40, 17 and one to the over, following a spread win. Nine and two over versus winning teams. The long range weather forecast looks good. Uh, there are some trends in this game that favor the Patriots. They're 12 and one uh, against the spread uh, as a dog following a loss, but. Uh, I don't want to go against the Patriots for a second straight loss, and I don't want to go against the Saints the way they're playing. They're playing better now than they have since the Super Bowl year. The only edge I see here is the total is 49 and a half. I'm going to take a slight play on the over, John. And keep in mind that teams uh, coming off the bye week can have uh, unusual incentive where they want to play all out, and then they know they got two weeks off. And that's the situation that the Saints are in. This will be their game right before the bye week. Love what Rob Ryan has done with this aggressive attacking defense. And the Saints are 16-6 and six against the spread, following a spread cover, and following when they face a team with a winning record, 12-4 and four against the spread. One weakness matchup-wise I see with the Patriots, not only did they lose Vince Wilfork, which I think is key up front to help stuff the run, but their linebackers, good against the run, but they're not good in pass coverage. And this is a game matchup-wise where the Saints love to spread the field, love to throw to the running backs, and a lot of targets for Breeze to throw to. It's going to be a very difficult nightmare matchup for the Patriot linebackers in pass coverage. So I'm going to side uh, with the underdog Saints here. All right, before we get to our, our best bets, guys, uh, if you want to get free plays from us, uh, from Dave Culkin, for instance, all you have to do is text 313131 to Culkin. And, Jim, people can get free plays on a text message from you every day as well. Well, I think you meant to text Culkin to 313131, yes. which is reverse of that. Um, 
And if you want to get free plays every day from me, just text WINNER to 313131. So you can get the free plays from Dave and from myself just by doing that. And as far as my best bet is concerned, it's really difficult on the two games that we spoke about, but uh, I think I'm going to go with the Green Bay-Baltimore game over the total. I think this game might get away from somebody here, and and, uh, even though they're trying to run the ball, that could open up a passing game situation. I don't know what Baltimore is going to do with their their, uh, weaknesses everywhere, but if Flacco gets buried, it's, it could be a runaway. It could be Green Bay all the way. If he can hold up and, and, and keep the game intact and get their wide receivers free, he could go deep. But I don't see either one of these defenses holding up for a whole game, so I'm going to probably go over that total. Okay, Jim, uh, let's go through the ads, too. I mean, 13-7 and seven, the last two NFL weekends. Uh, you're perfect 5-0 and oh with these dog pound plays in the NFL. You had the Ravens, <laughs> another straight-up winner the other day, 18-9 and nine with NFL totals. Uh, how can people get aboard for the rest of October? Well, just call 1-866-841-1655. You're right, John. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a smooth ride for me. August 1st till now, it's been – we haven't had – and any well, we had a little bit of glitches here or there, but when you look at the overall record, we're 20 plus in games, and and then we're 13 and seven, and then the last two weekends in the NFL, dog pounds five and zero, oh, totals 18 and nine. You can't do much better than that. A bit really on top of these teams, I feel these teams, and uh, and, and and that's what it is. I think when you really study, you watch the games, you read what everybody's saying, you listen to their interviews. Uh, you look at the statistics, you put it all together. You know, handicapping to me is not a science, more of an art. Yeah, you can look at the stats, but it's not really a numbers game per se because every week human beings change. And, uh, but, but it's really a, it's really an art. And I think you really have to be on top and get a feel for what's going on in order to win. And, and that's what I've been doing. If you want to get on board for the rest of October, $21. You get all my big plays, Monday, and you get some baseball plays in there too in the playoffs, which we're doing very well with. One eight six six eight four one sixteen fifty five. Jeff, your best bet. Plus, tell everybody how they can get aboard. You've got consistency with the NFL and college, including fifteen five and one in the last three NFL, uh, college Saturdays. Well, my best bet on the show would be the Packers. Last week I won all three games of advertiser on the show. This week I have three more games. You're going to get two more conference games of the month in college football, plus my uh, NFL Road Warrior game of the year. You get all three of those plays, just $19. Just call LVSS, 1-866-575-8916, 1-866-575-8916. All right, my best bet is going to be the underdog Saints. When they win a game, they're terrific coming off a win, too, 15-5 and five against the spread uh, the next week. Uh, Dave Koken, keep in mind, he has his college super total of the year going Saturday. If you like to play totals, it's 99 bucks online, or you can get it for 29 bucks with a high roller release by calling Dave at one 866 Eight nine six sixteen twenty nine. All right, guys, that'll do it for the NFL version of Proline. Good luck with the games, everyone, and we'll see you next week.